Welcome back to Good Days in Law. Mary Hargis joins us from the Children's Advocacy Network to tell us more about volunteer training. Thanks so much for joining us today. Thank you for having me. Of course. Well, tell us more about the opportunity. It's coming up soon. The training is. But before we get into the training, tell us a little bit about what a CASA volunteer does. So a CASA volunteer is a court-appointed special advocate, and they are signed by a judge to a case of a child in foster care. Um, they're the eyes and the ears of the court, so they're there just to make sure that the child is progressing and developing and has all the tools and resources that they need to fully reach their potential in foster care and in their placement and beyond from that. So how involved is a CASA volunteer in a child's life? So with the CASA volunteers, you can kind of take it as far as you'd like it. Um, we do like a minimum ask that you visit them once a month for about an hour once a month and then go to their court cases about every six months. But we do have some advocates that really step up and are really big roles in these child's life. They, um, you know, turn into these kids like grandparents, you know, that those strong figures in their lives. You know, you can, once you start this, you can take that relationship as far as you want it to go. That's fantastic. Mm -hmm. So what are some of the requirements of becoming a CASA volunteer? So we do ask that you're 21, um, have a driver's license, um, you'll have to be able to pass extensive, extensive background checks, um, and then attend our CASA training. Well, tell me a little bit about the training. I know it's coming up in mid-April. Yes, so our CASA training is going to start on April 18th and go through May 11th. Um, it's going to be on Tuesdays and Thursdays from 5 to 8.30 in the evenings at our Jackson Street office. And what kind of stuff will uh, the potential volunteers learn at the training? So that they're going to get to learn what they can do as a CASA, um, the different developments in a child, like so you kind of know what to watch out for. Um, you'll see what exactly you can do as a CASA, the resources you have, and what you can recommend as a CASA, and just really in-depth about our program and what you can do to be the best CASA you can be. Yeah, I think a lot of people are probably um, apprehensive into uh, getting involved with a foster child just mm -hmm. because they're not uh, really aware of how that whole system works and it, it can be kind of confusing. Mm -hmm. Do you all go over that in the training? Yes, so being a CASA volunteer sounds really intimidating, but after the training, um, our coordinators are very educated on what they do. Um, they're very helpful and throughout the whole process they're going to be there for you and um, the training is very extensive and it's going to be very helpful and really prepares you for what you need to do. So um, how long does the uh, training take place? Um, the trainings, it'll be, I think it's eight classes, and they're about three hours long. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so not too bad. And not then after bad. that, then you'll be appointed by a judge. Yes, and then you'll be sworn in with the court um, from the parish you're in, and then after that, you'll be assigned to a case. Okay, great. And so when you're assigned to a case, do you get to put in any kind of preferences, like if you want little kids or big kids? Yeah, you can uh, kind of say, hey, I'd kind of rather work with teenagers, or I'm more comfortable with younger children, and... Um, depend, we have all kinds of cases available, so you kind of can, um, if you do have a preference, our coordinators will work with you on that. And, you know, what kind of difference does this make for the child's perspective, too, to have that CASA volunteer involved? So, um, actually, with a child with a CASA spends, like, half the time they would normally in the foster care system, and they're half as likely are to re-enter the foster care system with a CASA. So having a CASA on their case makes a huge difference in the case, um, like the life of the case, the life of the child, and even after they've like closed out their case and after they're out of foster care, like having a CASA makes a huge difference in these child's life. Absolutely. So uh, tell me, what is the best way to start the um, application process or maybe you don't know if you want to apply yet or not and maybe just want to have a conversation about it. So if you're not really sure about it, you can check out our website, um, which is thechildrensadvocacy.net, or look at our Facebook or Instagram, or you can give us a call. Um, it's 318-445-5678, and I'll be glad um, if you call the office, you go to my number. So I'd be really happy to talk to anyone who has any hesita hesitations or even meet with them. And so the application too, how do you access that if you know you're ready for the training? So that is on our website under the Volunteer Now tab, and it's also all over our social media. We have posted several times a week. Okay, good. Okay, well remind us the date that volunteer training starts. The volunteer training starts April 18th. Okay, all right, mm -hmm. good deal. Well, Mary, thank you so much for joining us today and telling us all about it. 
What a great opportunity, definitely a worthwhile volunteer experience. We appreciate it. Thank you. Of course.